Sir, I'm, I'm just so happy that Owen is safe. Number one, how did you first learn your son had been kidnapped right on the street? Well, I uh, ended up getting a phone call from my hysteric wife saying uh, something about my uh, uh, my little uh, boy Owen being abducted. And, you know, the first uh, you know, thing that came to, you know, my whole body, I just pretty much, you know, driving down the street, you know, I'm, I froze, you know, and... Uh, you know, that gut-wrenching feeling, you know, is uh, nothing that I can describe to anybody, you know. Um, parents out there that have had their, you know, children abducted and everything know that feeling. Um, so, like I said, as I got the phone call, and I happened to be only 15 miles out, you know, at that time I was working, and uh, I ended up showing up on location. I cannot even imagine. For those of you just joining us, this 22-month-old tot was grabbed out of his stroller in broad daylight on a Sunday afternoon around lunchtime. Right on the sidewalk, he's with his two siblings, eight-year-old sister and brother. They give chase, screaming bloody murder, trying to get their little brother back. And those screams from the sister may have saved this boy's life. Take a look at this video. They go chasing after the kidnapper. With us right now, the boy's father, Michael Wright, who describes the moment he gets that call in his car that his son has been kidnapped, his baby boy. Michael Wright, you arrive on the scene, and what did you learn about how this whole thing happened? Uh, basically the same thing that uh, the news is uh, covering. Uh, on it, uh, um, first extinct when I parked my uh, um, parked in town and everything, ran out uh, to give my children a big hug, you know, and you know, of course, emotional, you know, things are going. Um, I just kept on uh, uh, thinking to myself how relieved I am that you know my children are still safe. Uh, and then, of course, you know, I get the rest of the story from you know my daughter. My son, you know, Delicia, and my son, Brendan, and not only the shop owner, you know, that uh, helped with the 911 call, had told me, you know, what had happened. So, of course, you know, um, emotions rising and, you know, me shaking and everything else and, you know, comforting my kids, you know, I was just sat and I waited, you know, of course, you know, for the sheriff's department to uh, give me a little more idea on what happened. Tomorrow and that's when... Uh, I met uh, Andrew and his uh, friend uh, Isaiah, and they had come up to me, and I thank them very much for, you know, helping in this, uh, you know, incident because uh, any father, you know, would be giving glad, you know, uh, thanks for anything to, you know, to pertain to this. 